The Leviathan's corruption spreads like a plague. Even as we succeed, Callus's influence strengthens. I had thought his presence at the moon was fascination. He has always been an explorer of the unknown, a researcher of malign intent but boundless curiosity. But this... this feels different. If Callus's experiments in communing with the darkness aboard the Glycon was a theory, what we see here and aboard the Leviathan is that theory put into practice. Kyrel has observed Crow and Zavala's successes from afar. She wishes to help us sever Callus's connection to the Pyramid by confronting the nightmare of Dominus Gaul. He haunts her relentlessly. As Aldrin haunted Crow, as Sophia haunted Zavala. But Kaido was not bound with us. There is no certainty a ritual would succeed. I have advised her to remain aboard her flagship for now. In the meantime, we continue our preparations while I look for another solution. I will contact you soon. Attention, Vanguard. I have been patient. I have listened to your warnings and kept my landing parties from raiding the Leviathan. But still, Callus eludes your guardians, and the nightmare of Gaul continues to hang over my head. My patience has its limits. Gaul is the last, our only remaining opposition. Then Callus cannot hide. Your ritual only requires I defeat the Dominus's nightmare. So be it. Do not interfere, Guardian. I am Cabal, and this conquest is mine to claim. There must be a proving, an acceptance from the old ways. So, as a gladiator entering an arena, I issue my challenge. Dominus, are you listening? I aim to finish what we began all those years ago. You won't stop me. Gaul, I challenge you. In the depths of my father's tomb, we do battle. Eris, have you pinpointed Keitel's position? No, but I have inserted the Guardian near her drop pod's breach point. We will find her. I'll keep you informed of the situation as it develops. Move quickly. She may be in danger. What are you doing, Guardian? This conquest is mine. Fight Callus's loyalists alongside my soldiers if you must. But do not assist me. Tell me the man God does not hold your reins, title. Without the binding, you are vulnerable. At least wait for the Guardian. Do you hear the doubt? She disrespects you. They all do. My throne cannot be challenged by what we were, or what others want us to be. There is one cabal. All others will submit or fall. I'm ready for you. Kaido was not bound with us. Amplifiers may not help her. Our time is better served making sure she isn't killed. A hammer of proving, commemorating Gauls joining the Red Legion. Your Gaul is a monster, but mine is a legend. A pit fighter who climbed the Red Legion, then led an armada to shatter the last city. Proof that fate could be defied and brought to submit. I thought I could do that. But you didn't. You brought words instead of fire. I was taught to hone my mind. But Gaul taught you your mind was a weapon. I thought I'd beaten Talus' softness from you. My shield held the line as our people evacuated Toro Bottle. My shield! You retreated. Death before dishonor, Keitel. You used to know that. Turbine's halting. The Severance site is not far, and now the way is open. Go. Cabal pride be damned. 
The light spawn ignores your commands. They have forgotten Cabal dominance. You are mine, Dominus. But if they wish to see you beaten, I won't deny them. Bring the Guardian then. I will gladly remind them what fear feels like. Get on with it. In my youth, I watched you cut your way to the top of the fighting pits like a bloodied idol. I thought you were magnificent. What did you learn watching me rise? Tenacity. Ruthlessness. Guile. The same crude tools the Hive brought to our home. Tools you cast away when desperation drove you to beg. You grovel to our enemies for protection, like Callus's gorged aristocrats when the crew crashed on their doors. Your way proved inadequate to save our people. How can you not see that? I see our home burning under your banner. Weakness runs in your blood. I will show you myself. Dreadful blade manifests from the harvester. What's taking so long? Keep to your task. Go conquer this system! Go, exiled curse! Go, broke the traveler's will! You have squandered my victories with your ineptitude. You're not the title I train. She was feared as a star pilot, dreaded with a cleaver, a warrior. Where is she? She died. Smoldering in the ashes of Torbottle. Your lessons with her. Then that is where she will stay. Keitel, without the binding ritual, it is as I feared. We must abandon this. I don't need a hive-tainted witch to explain my failure. Then I won't. Callus knew exactly what he was doing, goading his daughter into striking out on her own, manipulating her. But there is a silver lining to this cloud. The information you retrieved on the moon has proven to be the final piece of Callus's puzzle. It is no mere curiosity that drew him to the lunar pyramid. He is a consciousness that spreads out like a vascular system, and he is attempting to become one with the Pyramid, so that he may control it. So that he may wield its power. Worse, it appears as though Callus is not doing so of his own volition. He is doing it at the behest of another, our true enemy. The voice in the darkness. The witness. You must return to the Leviathan Guardian. Continue your work there while I prepare a ritual to add the Empress to our bond. Morn, would your ritual have prevented my failure? Now you seek the counsel of a hive-tainted witch. Do you revel in your foresight? Do you delight in witnessing my shame? I offered you my support. That offer remains. Know that this failure does not define you, Kaido. You will address me as Empress. You are not a crown. You do this for yourself, not for the Cabal. I am the Cabal. No, you are a woman with a burden, as I was. There can be no such distinction. Torobot lies in ashes. From my ranks rise traitors and spies. My incompetence threatens the future of my people. There is no quarter for failure. You speak Gaul's words. 
They erode the truth. What is your nightmare? An expectation you must shed like dead skin. What will remain when you do so? I... I do not know. Then you must look past your shame and say, I am more. Very well. Prepare your ritual. It awaits. We stand at the precipice of victory. There is but one final link that remains between Callus and the Pyramid. And we are ready to strike it. Keidel has been brought into our ritual bond. She is now prepared to confront the Nightmare of Gaul and undo her father's work. However, by my estimates, Callus has already infiltrated the paracausal matrix of the Lunar Pyramid. The dark below groans and churns with excitement at this revelation. Emanations from the Lunar Pyramid whisper a singular psychic demand to all who can perceive it. Rejoice. Callus is overconfident, and we must take advantage. Go, return to the Leviathan, and prepare. Kaidal will arrive shortly. Drop pod breach successful. The ship has turned rancid. The Leviathan's transformation is a spreading miasma. When we stop here, Take the engines, Guardian. I ascend another path, but I will see this through with you. Come to challenge me again. The beaten always do. You lifted the Cabal from Callus's stagnation. Now your meat keepers list the world's lost, not added. They speak of what once was, and no longer of what could be. Is this the new Cabal, Big Vision? We felt human scribes conjuring purpose for us. Futures that never came to pass. Theirs is the buzzing of insects caught in turbulent winds. When the wind shifts, so will they. Interference has returned, more complex than before. Something language adjacent, but familiar. A translation of a translation. Your edge alignment was poor. <sighs> Guardian! Kaido, dispatch this light spawn and send its head back to the city. Silence! You are a weak imitation of the goal I knew. I am limited only by your weak imagination. I will find you at the end. You stand with the Traveler's Puppet against me? You have grown fat from weakness. 
drunk on their patronage. You demand that I rule in your shadow. With the Vanguard, I stand equal. The Cabal stand equal. The Cabal will die alongside them. A desperate ember fading against the dark. Just because you can't imagine a future beyond yourself, Dominus, doesn't mean there isn't one. The interference is a voice. I've heard it whispered through the tree of silver wings on Io and beneath the ice of Europa. But it does not speak to us. This connection must be severed. Sand turbines offline. The final severance awaits, with Keitel bound to the crown. Together, we cannot fail. They are using the Cabal. Using you. The Empire is cattle flesh between the city and their enemies. They will let every last one of us die to save themselves. They have proven otherwise. I do not fear our enemies. The light is at our back, and we are the Cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink the seas. Let them come. Get on with it. You were never able to best me, Keitel. That's why I left you to hold my throne. I was fighting with weapons you gave me. Now, I wield my own. The dreadful blade manifests from the Harvester. Crush him with your light, as the Traveler did! <clears throat> you are nothing more than a child playing, Empress. You like my tribe and your father's vision. The old ways are dead, Dominus. I forged a new cabal in my image. It does not require your approval. I see you, Kettle. I see a new cabal pulled from the jaws of extinction. your traditions never would have allowed. You have finally grown beyond the prescriptions of your idols. Despite my legend, call his flesh. His words are only words. Like yours. There is a difference. Mine are better. Was that it, then? If dead men in Sanctimony are all Callus has to threaten me, he might as well turn the Leviathan around and run. It is strange. What we are to those around us, and what we are not. The Dominus was a hero to my people, self-made and defiant. He inspired many, but the Leviathan's trickeries allowed me to see Gaul as the Vanguard did. Dangerous, relentless, cruel. Those were qualities I embodied to survive Callus's interpretation of fatherhood. They kindled in me. A stifling reliance on self, on action, and nothing else. 
Most of all, Cabal wish to be seen. Our conquests recognized and ratified by the shockwaves they send through the Empire. The impact we leave. But an endless war in pursuit of glory leaves only ashes. When I am gone, it won't be the impact of my conquests that shape the Empire. Instead, it will be the quiet of peace in the company of allies. Well fought, Guardian. Victory sits before us, and yet it feels strangely hollow. We have severed what should be the final connection to the Pyramid, and yet... There is no reaction from the Leviathan, no reaction from Callus, and the Lunar Pyramid's psychic emanations are quiet. I cannot help but feel as though we have not weathered the storm, but merely stepped into its eye. The nightmares contained within the Crown of Sorrow are seething. Something is coming, Guardian, and we are not prepared. I would ask that you return to the Leviathan, continue to imprison the nightmares aboard it, while I attempt to ascertain what has changed. Eris told me what happened. How are you? Tired and old. But do you feel like a legend, Kettle? I will break you in half, small man. I can't imagine it was easy. That confrontation after all this time. Mine wasn't. You are not mistaken. I know what Gaul is to your people. A symbol of death. Ruthless ambition. But he was so much more than that to me. He was an idol. An inspiration to all Cabal. Even though he was born to a low station, he rose. How he rose. I was blinded by the light of his accomplishments. Unable to see the man inside. Unable to see his self-aggrandizing corruption. I refused to believe he was as much like my father as he was. It repulses me. How much I still feel for them both. In spite of everything they became. It's hard to challenge your idols. Even harder to make the decision that you'll be different. But then you look back on your life. Your own mistakes. And you wonder how you'll be judged when all is said and done. I'll never know Gaul as you did there. But I know you, Cuddle. I see you. That is all anyone can ask for. To be seen as they are.